just like any other day. I was a boy, just like every other boy. When a girl, when I came, I had seen, it's like she stepped out of a dream into my world. It could have been the summer wind playing with her hair. As the sun danced in her eyes, we were standing there. She smiled, I forgot my name. Cause all I was thinking, maybe I'm crazy, but I'm praying that an angel will love me. An angel will love me. Maybe I'm a fool, but I'm still falling. Asking heaven above me for an angel to love me. The rest of my life. My life. You're the proof that the Father answers prayers. Somehow, some way, you and I are standing here with a sacred promise in a ring that says it all. Oh, I've just begun to fall. And from the deepest part of me, I say I do. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm praying that an angel will love me. An angel will love me. Maybe I'm a fool, but I'm still falling. Asking heaven above me for an angel to love me. After all the changing seasons, I've turned to years The crowds have gone and the songs have faded I'll still be here Holding you and thanking heaven For my angel Maybe I'm crazy but I'm praying That an angel will love me An angel will love me Yes, maybe I'm crazy For praying an angel Maybe I'm a fool, but I'm still falling. Asking heaven above me for an angel to love me the rest of my life. 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 Dearly beloved, we are gathered together today here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man, Alex Christian Walker, and this woman, Melissa Marie Newberry, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocency. It also signifies unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and the church. This holy estate of marriage Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and also the first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and St. Paul commended it as being honorable among all. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but to be entered into reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. And into this union today, these two that are present are now come to be joined. Alex and Melissa, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that the commitment to marriage is a commitment to permanence. It's God's intention for your life that your marriage will be for this life and only death will separate you. And if the vows you exchange today will be kept without violation, and if you seek always to know and to seek the will of God, I have no doubt that your lives will be blessed and also his presence will be in your home and there will be peace that will always abide. Alex, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance and the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? 
I do. Okay. Melissa, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance and a holy estate of matrimony? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only in the end so long as you can All right, at this time, I will let you all repeat your vows to each other. So, talk to her instead of me. Hi, <laughs> Alex. Thank you, Melissa. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us be part. According to God's holy word, and thereto, I pledge you my faith. And Melissa, repeat after me. I'm Melissa. Thank you, Alex, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. <coughs> to love and to cherish till death us do part according to God's holy word thereto I pledge you my faith okay Alex what gift do you have today to bring ring okay if you put that on her finger repeat after me this ring I give you as a token of my love and as a pledge of my constant fidelity. Okay. Listen. Okay, put the ring on Alex's finger. Repeat after me. This ring I give you as a token of my love and as a pledge of my constant fidelity. Okay. At this time, they've asked me if I would share with you the reading out of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, which most of you know what is considered to be the love chapter of the Bible. Paul starts out by saying, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flame, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection, but then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And I would just say today, following that reading, that as long as you both continue to stay in love with the Lord Jesus Christ and let Him rule in your life and also in your household, that indeed your your love will be enduring and will last throughout throughout this life. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this day and this celebration for Alex and Melissa. We know that you have brought them together. We feel like that uh, there's a great love that they have for one another. And we feel like that this is your will and your direction for their life. And I just pray today, Lord, that this moment that we're all celebrating today as family and friends with them, 
that this will be a day that, that they'll carry with them throughout their lives. I do pray, Lord, today that they will keep the vows that they've made this, this afternoon. I pray the covenant that's made between them this hour will be that which will ever remain as they live in love and peace together. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And for as much as this man and woman have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and have declared the same by joining of hands by the authority given me as an elder in the church of the Nazarene and also by the great state of Texas, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together that no one for the Son. And now may God Now may God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. May the Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace. And may you so live in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. And I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Alex Walker. Summer.